Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I just wanted to point out a little bit of astrological poetry that I found in the sky this morning as I was <clears throat> as I was looking at the news. And, you know, yes, there is now a result. Great. Okay, let's see what happens. The thing that I want to talk about isn't particularly the result as such. I found this really interesting about Rupert Murdoch. I observed over the course of the last, I don't know, many weeks, I've been looking at all kinds of different news sources. And one in particular that I've kept going back to on YouTube, which I find fascinating and have found really fascinating, is Sky News Australia. And I'm looking at the headlines they're putting out and I'm thinking, wow, no other mainstream media outlet is putting out these kind of headlines. And so I kept an eye on it and then I noticed a change. I noticed and I could feel it and so many commentators on YouTube on Sky News Australia and many of them are Americans who are on there who are saying, I'm glad you know, I have this channel to tune into because we're not getting this on our TV in America. So a lot of those people in the comments of Sky News Australia also noticed a massive pivot, like massive, like a 180 degree turn in content. I observed it and then I thought, have I lost my mind? Let me check this out. So I Google searched Rupert Murdoch, you know, he's the owner of Sky News Australia, amongst others, amongst the Wall Street Journal, uh, New York Post, The Sun. I'm not a Sun reader, don't worry. <laughs> but like, he owns lots of different things is the point. And he owns Sky News Australia. So I type in Rupert Murdoch and then I came across this interesting article from the Bangkok Post, which I've never been to and I, except for today. And I brought up this article, which I'm gonna share with you as well, so you can see it. I'll link to it below. It says, is Rupert Murdoch dumping Trump? And I went, wow, this is interesting. And I scroll down and I have a read and this article is basically confirming, yes, um, Rupert Murdoch has done a total 180 after having supported um, Donald Trump after over the last, say, four to five years. So I bring up his chart. I wanted to see what's going on. And it's quite incredible. And I'll bring these charts up for you so that you can see, well, this one chart, it's just the transit wheel, really, that I want to show you. This incredible thing of Mars. The first thing that I noticed was, all oh, right, Mars is retrograding on Rahu conjunct Uranus. I mean, if, if that's not more perfect poetry, then I don't know what is, because Uranus is sudden change. Rahu Mars conjunction on this channel, I've said it many times, Rahu Mars wants to pick a fight. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a really interesting uh, combination and I would want to do more study on this, more research on this, but I just thought it was really interesting. I'm not saying that he's wanting to pick a fight. The phrase that popped into my mind as I was looking into all this earlier this morning, and it's interesting, when you do tarot, as I've been doing to build my intuition, you get these little random phrases that pop into your mind, and they're quite useful. You know, and you're kind of supposed to share them as part of your reading. And the phrase that popped into my mind as I was studying all this was, who's your daddy? And like, I was thinking about how you know, and this is really a function of Saturn in Capricorn, how um, we're, we're looking at leadership. And one of the things I said when I did my Saturn in Capricorn video was I said that we're looking at like the top 10% of people in every organization, in any organization. But then there's always the top 10% of the 10%. And there's always, there's always higher levels that you can go. And I really got the strong feeling as I was looking at this that you know, okay, you've got your two political um, candidates, for example, but, you know, imagine the amount of power that, that you've got here with, with a person like this and with a child like this, that you're able to prop one up. And then if you feel like it, you're in the mood, you can just slam them down, right? I mean, that's essentially 
um, what has happened here and we've got this Mars retrograding over this sensitive point of Rahu Uranus conjunct and it's just happened in the last couple of days and when you look at the last when you look at say for example 7 and 8 November let's take 8 November because I think this was when I really clocked it and I really saw my goodness there's been quite a turn um, we're looking at so in the transit wheel we're looking at Mars is 21 degrees 18 and look at that Rahu there is 21 degrees 46 Uranus there 21 degrees this is like so precise this is like you know um, this is like the needle on a record that's kind of jumping on a bit of dust and there's a little you get an effect you know um, that's what I see here I just found that really interesting and I thought I'd share it with you We're at the five minute mark um, I don't think it's over yet I think uh, you know it's still being contested and all that kind of thing and I'm just enjoying watching the sky and matching things up and seeing how this stuff really plays out so um, in the comments please do be kind because you know firstly I haven't really talked about the two candidates or the win or any of that so hopefully the comments will be kind and the other thing is you know I'm, I'm also not an American citizen I have no power to vote I'm genuinely interested in the astrology of this time and I just thought I'd share this little insight with you to say you know look at that glorious Mars in retrograde and uh, look at what effects it is producing um, out in the world and the other thing I wanted to say as well <clears throat> is that this concept of looking at the top 10% of the top 10% of the top 10% yeah you know, everyone's got people above them and one of the things I have been thinking about this whole situation with the election is that you know I, I get to see two charts but I don't get to see all the other charts and, and, and there are a lot of players and a lot of unknown unnamed players and I, th I think that is still a concern for some people um, that unelected people are shaping society in quite a big way and I'm going to study into this a little bit more I do think that with Rahu in Taurus and Ketu in Scorpio it's going to be like that blended with Saturn in Capricorn is that going to expose the people more these people more who we don't know or is it going to drive them deeper underground or what I, I want to explore this in coming videos as well so I'll just leave you with that guys but um, you know I hope this has been a little bit of something interesting I do want to get back to the earth series I'm supposed to record a video on earth uh, last time I did fire the fire element we're up to earth and I will do um, what, do, what do I want to do air and water of course um, as well so that's coming but I just thought today you know I felt like recording this why not because I think it's topical and interesting and I think you guys like that kind of thing I noticed the fire element series didn't get too many views so I, I also want to try and um, give you the kind of content that you want as well so I hope this has been interesting thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.